Welcome back everyone, Tina here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can manage categories, types, and tags inside the template library in your agency account. So this is only available for admins of an agency account. And with templates, I mean, we have templates everywhere in sites, under funnels and websites, in forums, in surveys, even in the social media planner. So let's say your audience is coaches and you want to clean up the library a little bit and get rid of templates which are made for plumbers or dentists, for example. In order to reduce the overwhelm, really, when people are looking through templates and looking at all the different opportunities they have so that they can manage their websites and their templates and their emails and forms much more efficiently as well. So let me show you how you can manage those categories, tags and types. All right, first you want to be signed into your agency, then click on the template library on the left. This will lead you to the template library admin area. You can see here at the top it says admin so you know you're in the right place. This may look familiar so I'm just going to switch over to a sub location. This is for example the template library and the sites and the funnels okay. So you can see here there is four templates selected in one row which we did right here if you click on settings for example in top right then you will see the number of templates per row you can see it's four items right now and therefore you will see displayed like this inside of your template library okay so in order to create a new category or type we are already on the right page right you scroll down a little bit you can see the button create category or type so click that one let's say our new name is new category for demo then give it a description demo description in this case click the drop down menu here you can either select category or type let's select category right now and let's hit create now you can search this particular category through the search bar let's type demo and let's see what comes up yeah new category for demo amazing here's your description here's the date added as well and here you can decide if you want to hide this particular category or if you want to show it the way it looks like right now it's turned on so let's say we want to hide it then you just toggle this button on okay if you want to delete it, you just click the delete button. Then it asks you one more time, do you really want to delete this? So confirm one more time. Click on delete if you want to delete it. Click on cancel if you change your mind, you want to keep it. If you want to edit the category, click on the little pencil icon here and change the name and description if you want. Let's say new behind that, behind that as well. Click update. Let's search for demo again. And here you can see the name and the description both have been updated. So just to clarify real quick the difference between category types and tags. So here you can see the category. We just created a category. A category could be financial, okay? You're working in the financial sector, you're selling to financial people, business coaching, creative, beauty and fashion, and so on and so forth. Scrolling further down, you can see the type. So what type is the template? Is it the about page? Is it the checkout page? Is it an event page? Is it a marketing campaign? And so on and so forth, right? Even newsletters and signups for the email templates right here. Then scrolling further down, you can see the tags, okay? So the tag could be accounting, advisor, art, athletic training, attorney. I'm going to show you real quick in the sub location how that looks like so here if you go into your final template library for example these are all the templates and then you can see the category right here automotive beauty and fashion financial scroll further down you can check mark about pages i want to see checkout pages for example then it just filters through right and then you have the tags right here so let's say we're looking for financial templates we want to see about and checkout pages and let's say we only want to see templates that include the tag accounting so let's click on that and it only shows us financial templates only the about page and only the ones which have been tagged with the label accounting so i hope this makes a little bit more sense what we're doing here so let's go back to the admin area so now let's create a type we have created a category before let's create a type now add your name the description and the type so under type we select type okay and then hit create let's scroll down and also under types you have the search function so let's type demo and you can see our type new type for demo new has been added same scenario here if you want to edit the label you just click on the pencil icon and then rename your label if you wanted to delete it click the delete button right here and it asks you again hey are you sure if you want to delete this type or if you want to keep it and cancel later so now now let's actually delete it in real life. Let's click the delete button again. Let's hit delete. And here you can see the success message shows it just has been deleted. So and by the way, as you can see in the already existing categories, which have been created by Go High Level, you can't click on delete or edit, right? So you can only edit or delete the categories you have created, but you could hide the categories, right? You just toggle on the hide button right here, click save in the top right corner, and then that's it. And the same scenario goes for the tags. If you want to edit the tag, you click on the edit button. If you want to delete it, click on the delete button button and you will see this pop-up showing right here which then again will ask you are you sure if you want to delete the tag or if you want to come back later so hit delete or cancel and that's it awesome i hope these new capabilities will help you to manage your template library a little bit more efficient and will overwhelm your clients a little less i will see you in the next video